What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Luma Fusion video. In today's tutorial we're gonna make lower thirds, so stay tuned. So once we're in Luma Fusion, the first thing we need to do is make a new project. We're gonna name this project Lower Thirds 01. Once we made our first project, we're gonna go into Titles. And we're gonna apply a new text layer. Double tap on this text layer. Then we're gonna add a shape and we're gonna add a three pixel line. Then we're gonna turn this one to minus or plus 90 degrees. And we can also adjust the thickness of it and the length of it until we find the desired length of the shape. So I'm just gonna center this and we go over to frame and fit. Once we're in frame and fit, we can place this wherever we want to place it and we're gonna place it outside the frame. And I see now it's a little bit too large, so we're gonna shrink it in a little bit to make it smaller, which makes it easier to work with. And then we're gonna drag it out of the frame and make a keyframe and then in again and make another keyframe. And that will look something like this. So once we are done with the animation of the three pixel line, we're gonna add another text layer. We double tap on this and we remove your text here. Then we add a new text and we change the font to our desired font. And the next thing we do is double tap on the font and then we type in whatever text that we want to type. And in this tutorial, we're gonna type YouTube. Once you're done typing, you simply go out to your timeline and you clone this text layer and you go into the clone text layer and you type something else. And we're gonna type creator. So there we have the two text layers with text and the last one with the third pixel line. And the next thing we wanna do is to make sure that the text is getting revealed or coming out from the three pixel line that we made earlier. You can follow my example to see what I do. Once you're done with the animation, the next thing we do is go into cropping and we're gonna make sure to crop towards the right side of the three pixel line so we control when the text is getting revealed. So we follow my example to see what I do. So once you're done with the cropping, you can see now you get this smooth animation and the last animation from the last keyframe that we just added. So the next thing we have to do now is go over to the next text, which is YouTube and do the exact same thing that we did to the first text layer. And here I want the YouTube text to be a lot bigger than the creator text. So we're just gonna scale that one up. And the next thing we do is to move it out of sight. So we're gonna move it out of frame. And we're gonna make a keyframe and we're gonna go to the part where the other text is stopping and we're gonna drag the text over to the placement where we want the YouTube text to be. So once we found the correct placement of the text, we go to the end and we add another keyframe. And this gives us that smooth animation once again. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. 
and you see the tech YouTube text is moving a little bit slower and in my opinion that looks super awesome so now it's over to cropping and we're gonna crop the exact same way as we cropped the first text So once you're done with the cropping, it will look something like this. And now let's make a basic ending to the animation. We're gonna go into cropping again and we're gonna make a keyframe where we want the animation to stop or to like disappear. And then we're gonna make a keyframe at the end. And the last keyframe, we're just simply gonna crop to the center of each text and to the center of the three pixel line. And a tip is to leave the marker at the first keyframe you made before you go over to the next text layer. This will allow it to be in the same position and you can easily find the exact same spot from where to start to crop out on every single text layer. Once you're done with the cropping, it will look something like this. And you can always change the end animation to make it yours. You can make it different. You can use a simple fade and you can also use my transitions as a smooth um, transition out if you want to do that. And we're just going to spice it up a little bit at the end here. We're going to make the YouTube text red. And that looks a lot better. So the next thing we do is we render this project and we render it at maximum quality. Once the render is complete, you find the clip or the footage that you want to apply the lower thirds text to. I'm just gonna delete these lower thirds that we just made. And we're gonna make some cuts into this video to make it fit with our lower thirds then we're gonna go into the photos app and we're gonna drag down the lower thirds that we just made and you can see now it's not transparent so you can't really use it as a lower thirds so what we do now is we go into luma key we add the ocean key and we change the hue to max we also gonna apply some LUTs to the main footage to make it look better once we apply the LUT, let's take a look at the entire footage put together and see what it looks like. That looks super awesome. And the next thing we can do is to go into the lower thirds. And now that we made a video file of it, we can scale it down to make the quality even better. And let's take a look again. That's how easy it is to make some awesome looking lower thirds that you can use for your business, you can use for your travel videos, you can use it for whatever you wanna use it for. And we also have some free lower thirds in the description below. Make sure to click on that link to get the free stuff. And there's also some lower thirds uploaded to Selfie as well. Customizable lower thirds for social media. It's Instagram, Twitter, and uh, Facebook and YouTube, of course. And you can see all of the lower thirds here.
So that's it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to smash that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you liked it, thumbs down. If you didn't like it, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.